Talk about losing your sense of style. The meteor was shot out of orbit by Bud Plasma. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 futuristic movie technologies that look hilariously dated today. That's impossible, even for a computer. For this list, we're looking at futuristic movie devices that at one time looked cutting edge, but now look so dated, it's hard to imagine that they once were deemed ahead of their time. Basically, they are more likely to inspire laughs than awe these days. I've had people walk out of me before, but not when I was being so charming. Number 10, Argo Buggy, Star Trek Nemesis. But uh, I've been itching to try the Argo. It's hard to imagine that this was once seen as the future of all-terrain vehicles, or even a viable option for landing parties with better non-terrain technology available. The Argo Buggy's design isn't exactly well thought out for practical combat use. I will always be puzzled by the human predilection for piloting vehicles at unsafe velocities. Both the passengers and the turret gunner are left wide open without any protection from enemy fire. <laughs> this vehicle is built for a couple of friends going off-roading, not a full-on firefight. Well, at least B4 was well protected. Do you have a name, sir? I am B4. Number 9. Public Video Phone, Blade Runner. Hello? In today's world of fast computers and advanced smartphones offering video chat as a standard feature, one glance at the public video phone from Blade Runner is likely to make you chuckle. I'm in a bar here now, down in the fourth sector. The dated monitor, old school computer text, and overall clunky design make it hard to believe that this movie is actually supposed to take place in 2019. I don't think so, Mr. Deckard. That's not my kind of place. We can admit that this is most certainly nitpicking, though, as Ridley Scott's masterpiece is a crucial part of cinema history. Go someplace else. Number 8. Portable Brainwave Detector, Barbarella. This is a portable brainwave detector. In order to help her track down a missing scientist whose invention is capable of completely leveling entire planets, Barbarella is given this portable brainwave detector that will light up and emit an alarm sound when in his presence. The device also has a nifty alien language translator. It has a built-in tongue box. Although quite the useful gadget, it doesn't seem very practical to wear and isn't exactly a fashion trendsetter, even if this is science fiction. Our iPhones look so much more sophisticated. Thank you. And uh, love. Number seven, robot-driven taxis, Total Recall. Where am I? You're in a Johnny Cab. Need a lift? Why not take a ride in a Johnny Cab? This completely automated taxi service is controlled by a robot that can take you anywhere you want to go. I mean, what am I doing uh, here? I'm sorry. Would you please rephrase the question? You must be completely clear with your directions, though. Otherwise, this method of travel can prove to be quite frustrating. Just ask Arnie. Shit. Shit! I'm not familiar with that address. Would you please repeat that? <laughs> Though 1990's Total Recall featured many high-tech gadgets and a mind-bending vision of the future, this cab ride is too silly not to laugh your head off at. Hell of a day, isn't it? Seriously, we'd rather wait for those driverless Google cars we've been promised. It's okay. Right here. Thank you for taking Johnny Cab. Thank you. Number six, wireframe map, Escape from New York. Right on course. This is supposed to be the distant future, the year 1997. Here, the helicopters surveying the city monitor and trace activity through the use of this high-tech grid. This is Though this map might have blown away audiences upon the film's original release, today it looks more like a pre-visualization for what eventually becomes a modern movie's visual effects. In the sci-fi action flick, New York is a futuristic Alcatraz-like prison. But this map makes it look like a video game our parents would have played. <laughs> Number 5. Large Backpack Camera Unit, Death Race 2000. Wow, look at the size of this thing! 
This camera is the equivalent of what cell phones used to look like when they were first introduced to the public. You hit a tree and that's it. Got it? This might have seemed like an advanced piece of technology back then, but now it looks like a bulky inconvenience for anyone who has to wear it. It's not whether you win or lose, it's how you play the game. Can you imagine having to do field reporting while lugging this backpack and camera around everywhere you go? Don't want to? Well, we don't blame you. Number four, Squid, Strange Days. I'm going, I'm going. In Strange Days, an illegal machine called a squid, or superconducting quantum interference device, can record life events directly from the user's cerebral cortex. What is all this squid shit anyway? Superconducting quantum interference device, squid. This data can then be played back using a mini disc type gadget, allowing the user to experience the memories and physical sensations of whomever recorded it. You heard that right, mini discs, a piece of technology that has long since been replaced. That's like making a movie with the same premise today and using cassette tapes instead. Number three, Death Star plans, Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope. The Death Star plans are not in the main computer. Where are those transmissions you intercepted? What have you done with those plans? It's hard to believe that in a world where ships warp at hyperspeeds and energy swords cut through seemingly anything, the technology like this still exists. The battle station is heavily shielded and carries a firepower greater than half the Starfleet. Its defenses are designed around a direct, large-scale assault. As the plan to take down the first Death Star is explained to the Rebels, it's amazing that the room doesn't break out into sheer laughter. Well, the Empire doesn't consider a small one-man fighter to be any threat, or they'd have a tighter defense. This display makes it look like they're planning an early 90s land party, as opposed to taking down an intergalactic empire. As cheesy as this may look, though, there's no denying Star Wars' impact on cinema to this day. The shaft leads directly to the reactor system. A precise hit will start a chain reaction which should destroy the station. Number two, the fax machine, Back to the Future, part two. Hey, Big M, how's it hanging, McFly? The fax machine is a staple of the modern world. Now, we have the ability to send faxes not just the old-fashioned way, but we can also deliver them electronically through our email accounts. You are terminated! In the second installment of the Back to the Future franchise, we get a glimpse of the 2015 model. Read my No! Fox. Please, no, I cannot be fired. I'm fired. What might have looked cool at its release looks more like an oversized pager or a briefcase with a few shiny buttons. Not exactly the future we currently live in now, is it? Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Judging from early estimates, millions dead, a city in ruins. I'm having a hard time keeping track. It's fruit. Fruit, please. Thank you. Oh, look. Number one, Mother 6000, Alien. <laughs> Unfortunately, even classic science fiction films have the tendency to look dated as time goes on. But Alien as a whole still looks great to this day, thanks to the genius of Ridley Scott and his incredible crew. However, the one aspect that stands out as borderline ridiculous is the odd and dated computer interface dubbed Mother. With time capsule-worthy computer screens, a bulky design, and more buttons than the crew knows what to do with, this mainframe can make viewers doubt the time period in which this is supposedly taking place. Do you agree with our list? You should know. It's not our system. What's your favorite hilariously dated futuristic movie device? We'll use the Orgasmatron! That's a good idea. Come on. For more hilarious top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.